G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. Now, down here in Australia, we've just started our winter. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely freezing. So I thought it'd be a good time to talk about how reptiles deal with winter and tackle a fairly long-standing argument. And that is whether or not reptiles hibernate or whether they brumate. So stick around, guys. We're talking about some reptiles in the winter time. They're pretty dangerous. <laughs> So when we're talking about hibernation versus brumation, there's a couple of things that these two processes have in common. They're both essentially a period of dormancy where an animal will stop eating, which is triggered by a shortening of day length and a reduction in temperature. Basically, shorter, colder days will cause animals to become dormant. In both cases, this is essentially as a result of the fact that over winter, chances to feed or the conditions to feed aren't as good as they are during the rest of the year. So whether it's uh, a bear in the northern states of America, it's just too cold and all the other animals have gone to sleep themselves, so it doesn't make sense to waste energy walking through the snow looking for something to eat. Or in the case of a reptile, they're not going to be able to reach that preferred body temperature to actually digest their food. There is, however, a couple of differences with brumation and hibernation. An animal in true hibernation, like a lot of the mammals in the northern hemisphere do, they literally go to sleep over the winter. They don't get up or move around, and they don't go and get a drink. They rely on all their body fats to provide the moisture they need to survive until spring comes along. Reptiles, on the other hand, like these shingleback lizards, which go through brumation, actually will still wake up during the winter for short periods of time. It's basically based on temperature. If you get a warm winter's day, the chipmunks in America don't wake up and go around and grab a drink and, and enjoy the sunlight. They stay asleep. It's like they've set their calendar. Whereas a reptile, on a warm day in the middle of winter, will often wake up, crawl out of their hiding hole, go and grab a drink, bask in the sun for a little while, and return back to their place to continue this dormant stage. Another interesting difference with brumation and true hibernation is that an animal that's hibernating doesn't really change its requirements for oxygen. Its breathing rate will slow, but it still needs oxygen to survive. Whereas brumating reptiles can actually survive in very low oxygen environments. A great example is things like turtles here. Our broadshell turtle, if he was to go into brumation or hibernation, whichever word you want to use, is most likely going to bury himself in the mud, possibly underwater at the bottom of a pool, where he's not going to get much oxygen. So brumating animals have the ability to survive very low oxygen levels compared to something like a sleeping bear or chipmunk. Now, does this mean that reptiles don't hibernate because they brumate? It's not that simple. You see, the term brumation wasn't even coined until the mid-1960s. Prior to that, all animals that were sleeping in winter was called hibernation. It actually comes from a Latin word, hibernaculum, which just means place to overwinter. It's only more recently that many people have found it useful, I guess, to basically break the two, true hibernation and brumation, as well as other things like estivation and torpor and diapause and all sorts of other states of reduced activity into separate uh, categories using separate words. A good way to think about it would be that brumation is just one type of hibernation. So yes, there is a difference, but it doesn't mean that uh, the next time you see somebody talking about a hibernating snake or a hibernating lizard, all your reptile junkies out there should jump on social media and prove them wrong because it's really a little bit subject to debate. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the button down below. Leave us a like, a comment, all that sort of stuff. Uh, other than that, I think I'm going to get these guys home and warmed up, sit in front of the fire myself. But as always, guys, have a good one and take care.